It's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment or educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man alive in that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, AMC had a volume of 82 million yesterday okay and i want y'all to think about this for a second so prior to reverse split that's 820 million shares the old float was 560 million shares so these guys traded like 1.5 percent 150 percent of the old float in one day do you guys really believe and remember the obv has not really changed so this is not real buying and selling. This is the bad actors in the dog pool. This is the bad actors in the dog pool buying and selling between each other at lower prices, pushing the price down. And we're down 35% on a day. And how many halts did we have? How many halts did we have? Absolutely none. This has nothing to do with the ebb and flow of the market. This has nothing to do we're, we're protecting the market. This has to do with robbing retail investors of their investment. I mean, there's no other explanation. The shorts got in too deep. They created trillions of counterfeit AMC shares. They got a 90% haircut, but they created so many counterfeit shares that a 90% the 90% haircut didn't even help them. They still had to triple and quadruple down on the criminal behavior. If the SEC just look at the new blue sheets, I'm sure they will see that none of these shares are real. These are not real shares. And on top of that, 40 million, like 80% of the old float was shorted shares. Okay? 80% of the old float was shorted in one day. How is that mathematically possible in a fair and transparent market? How is that mathematically possible in a market that the rules of supply and demand controls? It doesn't. It doesn't. This is the biggest Ponzi scheme in the history of the stock market. This makes Bernie Madoff look like a petty thief. Okay. They pocketed trillions of dollars off the back of retail investors, and now they're doubling and tripling, quadrupling down on a criminal behavior because they know the SEC, the DOJ, the DTCC won't do anything to them. If these guys were being locked up for this type of behavior, they wouldn't do it. They're not afraid of fines. They're afraid of jail. But they know they're not going to jail, so they don't care. So they double and triple down on the bad behavior. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's mathematically possible for them to move 150% of the old float in one day in a fair and transparent market? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.